Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'll be showing you how to set up a VPN on your Apple TV in just five minutes. Also, if at any point that to give any of the mentioned VPNs a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money, as well as in-depth reviews for each VPN in case you'd like to know more about their services. So with that being said, let's get started. Now, as we all know, Apple TV is a popular streaming device that allows users to access their favorite TV shows shows, movies, and music. Now, while Apple TV doesn't have built-in VPN support, it is still possible to get up a VPN connection to protect your online privacy and security. Here's how to set up a VPN on Apple TV. The first step in setting up a VPN on Apple TV will be choosing a VPN provider that supports router configuration. Now, researching which providers support this feature and which don't can take a lot of energy and time. So I went ahead and did the research for you. Here's a list of reliable VPN providers that support router configuration and are compatible with Apple TV. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video, and that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, so it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode, and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as 
as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. Now, once you have chosen a VPN provider, you'll need to set up the VPN on your router. This will allow all devices on your network, including your Apple TV, to use the VPN connection. The exact steps for setting up a VPN on your router will depend on your router model and the VPN provider you're using. You can usually find instructions on the VPN provider's website or by contacting their customer support. After setting up the VPN on your router, you'll need to connect your Apple TV to the VPN enable router. To do this, go to settings menu on your Apple TV, then select network, and then Wi-Fi or internet, depending on how your Apple TV is connected to the internet. Choose your VPN enable router from the list of available networks, then enter your router's Wi-Fi password if prompted. Now wait for your Apple TV to connect to the router and you should be good to go. So there you have it. This is how easy it is to set up a VPN on your Apple TV. Now you can enjoy watching your favorite content while keeping your online activities private and secure. So that's it for this video, guys. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys and like and subscribe to our channel if you found this video helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'd love to see you guys in our future videos.